As we already mentioned, UFI specification defines set of variables uh, with architecturally defined meaning. Uh, those are variables with uh, special EFI global variable vendor GUID. We can say that all those special architecturally defined UFI variables are in EFI global variable namespace. In the specification, there are 40 global variables described in UFI specification section 3.3. And in further sections, we will uh, discuss most most important one. We can divide those 40 variables in couple groups. And, and uh, now I would like to talk a little bit about those groups. First is UFI secure boot group. And there are a couple variables there. We will not discuss those in details, uh, but we can just like right now know that those are associated with uh, UFI secure boot mechanism implemented in EDK2 according to UFI specification. And uh, yeah, this topic is quite big and it belongs to dedicated uh, open security training course. The other group is um, boot order and related configuration. This is a very important group responsible for handling order of device, devices used uh, during the boot process of the platform. We will discuss those variables in, in more details later. Uh, next group is console input and output uh, group uh, of variables is responsible for input and output uh, at UFI BIOS level, uh, partially thanks to correct configuration of those variables and of course drivers behind the scene. Uh, we can use our keyboard or mouse and we can see things on output uh, when when dealing with UFI BIOS menu or uh, dealing with UFI shell. A driver loading options group um, is a group of variables which uh, can be used to provide um, options for drivers loaded during the boot process. Yes, we can load drivers and we can even override uh, previously loaded drivers during the boot process uh, and those variables help us deal with the options provided to those drivers. So yeah, so this is this is the same mechanism. Then language group is responsible for supported languages and also for configured language that we see in uh, BIOS setup menu. Uh, OS firmware uh, features communication group uh, of variables is very interesting. Uh, because it provides means of communication between firmware and the operating system and operating system and firmware uh, about features uh, which are supported by one or other side. Uh, use of those var variables may be very, very interesting to security researchers because those variables have potential of uh, changing operating system behavior or firmware behavior. Uh, the next group is UFI capsule update group. This group is used by uh, recommended and implemented in ETK2 UFI firmware update mechanism called UFI capsule update. And we will talk a little bit about those variables uh, later. Some variables can, uh, can be even used for, for example, for storing um, ACPI SSDT table, secondary system descriptor table overlays. Uh, so we can uh, have some support to overlay some ACPI tables uh, through UFI variables. This may be helpful in fixing broken ACPI tables, uh, which were provided by BIOS vendor, or may be helpful in, in some special hardware, like open-ended hardware uh, configurations, like for development boards or, or similar, similar hardware. In that way, instead of building dedicated BIOS for every potential configuration of that development board, we're just using um, ACPI SSDT overlays to change or expose additional interfaces like I2C or AC SPI buses. And this is a very useful mechanism in case of uh, open-ended hardware. There are also a couple other vari variables like recovery options or time-related uh, variables uh, and we will briefly discuss those uh, later in the in further sections. But uh, who may be interested in those UFI variables? Obviously, some are interesting to security researchers. Probably all of them are interested to firmware developers. But there are other groups. For example, I think those uh, those variables can be interest interested to hypervisor developers or cloud infrastructure administrators because those may change uh, the behavior and the boot process of the operating system in, the virtu in virtual machines. Uh, also, con confidential VMs is a topic that recently gaining on importance. And uh, for, for those special VMs, uh, 
um, with focus on confidentiality, probably UFI secure boot variables uh, and other security related variables uh, would be important to know and to, to know how to use those.